Alright, we've encountered another problem here, but this is one of the few times that a problem might be turning out to be a blessing. As you'll notice, these lines look like they somewhat match with a little bit of material come out of the roof. The problem is, when you line the 1206 gasket up to the holes, look what you got going on. You got a fucking mess. Now, problem is, when they cast this head, look at the overhang here. You can't get the roof to match. You're going to dig on the floor, which ain't where it's happening, and you're going to have a gap right here at the top that's incredible. Well, when I got to looking at the thickness, what I'd done was I have what's known as the Brzezinski plate, which is absolutely the best manifold scribe situation that you can get. And it, 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 what it does is it makes the use of these dowel pins. Now, I'm going to show you this. Right here is the standard location. If you'll notice, the plate has got two holes. Notice how they're staggered. Notice how that don't line up. Okay, what you got here, that is the standard location. This is the 200 thousandths raised runner hole. Now, look what happens when I say, okay, let's pretend that this head is a 200 thousandths raised runner head. And I put the dial pins on the 200 runner mark. Wow, big difference. The bottom almost perfectly lines up, which is tilting the runner up, and you got just enough up here at the top to where you can cut a line. What we just did was take it instead of the stock location being on the bottom making us have to cut material out of the bottom which does no good to smoothen out the floor by putting this in a raised runner situation. To making us have to cut the top. Okay, now the problem's gonna be, number one, the gasket will have to be modified, or we might, I think Felpro makes a 1206 with a 200 raised runner roof or it's a blank gasket I can card to fit. Yeah, that's a little more trouble. But the benefit gains off cutting the meat out of the port, making it match on the top, raising this floor up and bringing that up is gonna straighten this shot and not make it transverse where it's gotta come up and then go around. We're talking a secret hidden performance gain here that there's not gonna be a lot of people that they're gonna know about. Okay, this is a great thing. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two and what we're looking at now. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scribe one pair of ports. I'm going to use the end locking plates, which is your standard location. I'm going to say, okay, let's take the scribe, go on the inside. Another good thing about the Brzezinski plate is it's bigger on the head. Notice the marking head. It's bigger on the head side and on the intake manifold side, it's smaller. Okay? So remember, that's our stock location. Nothing to scribe on the top. Now, let's go to the 200 thousandths raised runner part and let's scribe the line here. Just barely a little bit on the bottom. And see, this is absolutely a goof by the people that designed this head. They didn't do it right. Or they were thinking, oh, a lot of people going to run Vortec because it's split pattern. I'm going to have to check my part number, but I'm pretty sure this is a goof because even a Vortec head, 
when you put a 1206 on it, it don't go past the top. The 1206 is enough. So this absolutely has to be the deal. Now, <laughs> look what a difference, okay? Let's get a better angle on it. All right, look at the difference. I can either cut a little bit out of the top or I have to come down here and cut a whole lot of the bottom. But here's the thing. Look where the 1206 is going to be if I lay it in line with the top. Look at that big gap that's going to be on the head that the manifold is going to come to that line and you're going to have a big dead spot at the top. Bad wet flow characteristic. We're going to have a ton of fuel coming out. But when we go in here and raise it up 200 thousandths, there's material to grind out of the top. We look how much deck surface we got when we're coming up on the bottom. A raised runner head is a better deal. So, without knowing it, this is one of the few times that if a savvy head porter or somebody that knows what they're doing can take a mistake and turn it into a fantastic benefit. I'm going to make this head a killer to the more high dollar heads such as Broad X and Dart because that 200 thousandths raised runner just kicked ass. Ain't going to have as much dive coming up. High RPM, it's going to work fantastic and great. Like I said, we're just going to have a little bit of a problem carving a gasket. See, we don't have a lot of room up here at the top. Yeah, that's questionable. So damn what? That's all right. I'll deal with that little bit of a problem there on the gasket and then an intake manifold line up. There's a trick to that too, but it's well worth the effort to make this thing a virtual killer. All right, that's all for now. I just wanted to go over 